Good morning, this is Driving with the Miles. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I've been doing driver's ed about 21 years. So the information I'm gonna give you will prepare you for your DMV test or road test. Today I've had some requests, and if you haven't done so, you need to look through my content. I have great information on turns, parking, vision, uh, merging on the expressway, parallel parking, three-point turns. So go ahead and binge watch all my information and don't forget to subscribe. So we're in a parking lot and we're going to do hand over hand turns today. Uh, you'll be able to see my hands and how I turn the wheel and let's go ahead and get it. So I'm in a parking lot and you're going to see me looking around and we're going to talk about hand over hand turns. At the intersections you always want to look. So the car is straight and then I'm going to make a right turn and I turn hand over hand into the turn, and once the car's out, I turn out hand over hand. A lot of beginning drivers stare at their hands. You wanna look at the road, you don't wanna turn underhand, because if you turn underhand, you're gonna lose control of the car. So I'm looking, and then I go up to the edge, and then I turn hand over hand into the turn, and then I turn out hand over hand. I'm going to make a right-hand turn into the parking lot, so I'm lining the front end of the car even with the curb, and then I turn hand over hand into the turn, and then I turn out hand over hand. Uh, this particular parking lot is a two-way, so I'm going up. Make sure you follow the arrows correctly, so you see me looking and checking. I'm going to go around uh, making some right turns, and then I'll make some lefts. Even though there are no cars here, let's practice good skills, having that blinker, having to look left and right and then I turn hand over hand into the turn and I turn out hand over hand if you cut your turn too short you're going to go over the curve if you turn too wide you're going to turn in the wrong lane which is both dangerous and automatic failure so I'm looking and I'm checking and then I go up and then I turn hand over hand into the turn and I turn out hand over hand so I'm scanning and then I'm gonna make another right-hand turn, taking my time, always looking, always scanning, have a complete stop, and then I come up, and then I turn hand over hand into the turn, and I turn out hand over hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and forward uh, the car in uh, the parking lot. I'm looking, I'm checking, I'm staying on the right side of the road because in North America, we drive on the right. So I turn hand over hand into the turn, and then I turn hand over hand out. You wanna be really smooth with the gas pedal. You don't wanna hit the gas pedal really hard because the car will lunge forward and you'll lose control. And it does take a lot of practice and timing. I will definitely say this, uh, obviously we're in a pandemic and I've seen a lot of parents and adults have their family members out in parking lots working on turns. So this is a great location to work on turns. Again, I'm not condoning you taking an unlicensed driver out in the parking lot. I'm just simply saying this is a great area. So I'm looking, I'm checking, I'm going up, always looking, and then I turn hand over hand. Look where you want to go. A lot of getting drivers look to the left. The car will veer to the left. They look to the right. You'll go over the curb. So I'm looking, I'm checking. Observation skills are the most important. And it doesn't seem important, but it is really important. So I'm making these nice smooth turns, and then I turn out hand over hand. And once you feel confident and consistent, you'll really feel good about your turns. So I get a lot of questions about turning hand over hand. You've got to practice your skills. You've got to prepare for your DMV test or road test, and more on that later. So you see me looking, you see me scanning, you see me taking my time. And I'm looking and I'm scanning, I see cars, I see semi-trucks, I see cars that are not using blinkers. So you always have to be aware and always have to be that defensive driver. So I'm turning out hand over hand, nice and smooth. You have your hands at uh, nine and three or 10 and two. And I see a car that does not have a blinker, so I'm here waiting. I yield because they are the main road. So this is a good teachable moment, but they did not have a blinker on. So always be a defensive driver, right? That's a good teachable moment. And then I turn back hand over hand. Don't assume these other drivers see you and know what's going on. Always be a defensive driver. So I'm looking, I'm scanning. So let's review. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. 
Uh, this is Driving with Miles. I've been doing driver's ed 21 years. I need you to subscribe to the channel because I will have more exclusive content that is coming in the next uh, few hours. So I hope you enjoy this. Please leave comments. I just want to say thank you for the support. It's been outstanding.